Okay, here's my scenario. Okay, this is a towel holder in the in the bathroom, and, and um, what happens a lot is as it constantly gets pulled, it starts. This thing's a pain in the rear end, and I got to figure a way to keep that on. Um, but what happens is uh, as you keep uh, doing it, this keeps on coming off. All right, so there's a, a very short amount of thread that's going in there. I'm going to show you how to actually keep this thing on. And also, whoever put this in, okay, this keeps popping out. So, um, what happened is they have these uh, anchors in here uh, for the drywall. Uh, what they probably didn't realize is that right next to this, about a half inch over, is a beam. <laughs> so, 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 I'm going to show you something. Uh, this is uh, one of those things that you look for beams with, and we're going to turn it on. All you do is hold it, hold it down, you put it in, okay, okay, here we go. If I go over here, see there's a light switch there? Okay, there's a beam there that's uh, holding that. If we come over here, that's the one that's right up there. So I'm going to move this over, and there's an outlet over here. And that's the beam that's actually the outlet is hooked up to. So we want to come up up here. I already have a pe pencil mark right there, so I know where where the where the beam is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to bring it over, and there's my beam. Now there's the end of it, about right there. Look how close that was to it. it it's just missing it. Over here's the end of it. It's a two by four. Okay, so you want to go in the middle, somewhere in the middle of that two by four, which is right there. And that's where you want to make your pencil marks. All right. So the big problem now is with that idea in there, where this is going to sit, may not cover up those two holes. It might. It might not. Who knows? Okay. So you might have to do some work to cover those holes. All right. If it's just this, you can take some paint and paint over that. All right. So uh, or even scrub it off. I don't know if they'll scrub off. But anyway, we're going to put this in the right way. We're going to take these things off. We're going to drill two holes into the stud, and then we're going to put this in the right way. We're going to lock that screw down, the set screw in here. We're going to lock that down. I'm going to show you how to use Loctite to do that. And we're going to get this thing to where it never comes out again, unless we really want to take it out. Okay, I already took one of these out just to make it go a little faster. Okay, we're going to take that out. It's hard to grab it and turn it. So I, I'm using the pliers. This is a needle nose. You can use a straight, regular pliers, whatever you want. Get a good grip on it. Don't squeeze it too hard. And we're just going to take the screw out. Okay. Um, spin it out. We need to draw some uh, hole, uh, some dots where our holes are going to be. All right. We're going to we're going to dispose of these. Um, this uh, this screw. Okay. What I did over here is I found a, a drill bit. It's a one sixteenth drill bit because these screws are so small, and you don't you don't want to draw uh, you, you don't want to um, drill a hole that's so big that this is not going to grip. What I want to do is drill a pilot hole to get this screw started. I'm not going to go as deep or deeper or anything. I'm probably going to go in about that far into the wall just to get a pilot hole in there so this thing can guide the rest of the way in. It's not so big that it's going to spread the 2x4 and split it, which is really nice. So uh, your drywall is about a quarter inch deep. So uh, now this guy, you got a picture of this guy is a little deep going in. And then um, your drywall is going to be here, so you're going to have about a half inch or so going into the stud. Okay, I'm going to try and make do. I can't get the uh, camera up level with this, but that's that's okay. What we're going to do is uh, get our pencil in our stud detector. We're going to find out exactly where we're going to put these. Okay, so our line, we're going to draw a line right here, a line right here. Okay, so that, so I'm using these holes as references too. So I know I know my holes are going to be around here someplace. So now what I'm going to do is take this and put it here, a kind of level. We, I, you know, I, I don't want to be like this, like this, or anything like that. And also, there's a little uh, indentation here. Okay, um, on this particular model, there's an indentation here that actually lines up with this flat level that's here. To slide in, to make it slide in. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw my marks that I'm going to drill. So I'm going to make it about level, and I'm going to put crosshairs now. All right, I have the up and down lines that I drew, and right in the middle, I'm going to put crosshairs. So I have my marks. 
that I'm going to draw. Another thing I want to do is if you have hardware in the back of this thing that we're going to screw in, we're going to take this out. If it'll come out, yeah. Okay, and uh, and we're going to put Loctite on this and put it in there and get it to stay in. So this is, uh, look how short that screw is. I was holding that in. So we're going to put some Loctite on that thing. And I'll show you, Loctite could be messy if you don't do it right. So you got to be careful. So let's go ahead and start uh, drilling that. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to go as straight in as possible, right on the crosshairs. Nice and slow. And I can actually feel, I can feel that I went into the stud. Pull that out. Okay, right on the crosshairs. Yeah, I can feel exactly when I hit the stud. So that's good. Okay, so now I have my two pilot holes drilled. In case you didn't notice, I have a uh, bath towel over the sink. I don't. I, I like a nice little surface to work on. Nothing falling down in the sink. It's my preference. Okay, now this is a really small screw, so I don't want to put the th uh, thread lock on the screw itself. I want to put the thread lock inside on the threads. If I get this off, <laughs> probably should have done this before. Um, Get the well, his thread lock so it locked the threads <laughs> on, on the thing. This stuff is like water, so you need to be really careful and just put a drop in there if you can. Okay, and the drop's going in. Don't get it on your fingers or wash real fast. This is a permalock, it's great for when uh, you know working on cars and working on that, that uh, flywheel or something. Okay, it cures in about 30 seconds. All right, so I uh, got to be careful about that. We're going to put the the keyway to keyway on there, and then we're going to put this screw in. I got to kind of work a little quick because, like I said, 30 seconds is going to cure. So we want to anchor this thing down, nice and tight. Nice thing about thread lock, you don't need to torque, you don't need to over tighten. Once that thread lock cures, it's going to lock that into place and it's not going to move. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. Alrighty, I'm going to put this up. We're just about done here, I think. Remember, you're not going in the old holes. They won't fit anyway. I'm going to finger tighten these into the drywall. Now this one, I see the hole on the bottom very nicely. And I'm going to take my screwdriver and get it started. I don't like um, tightening things down until I get all the screws in place because if you tighten it and you're over here, you can't move it unless you loosen it up. So uh, I'm going to get this started, and it is. Get the other one. When I get this thing done, it is not coming apart again. So if you have a towel rack or something like that, uh, that gets pulled on all the time, uh, and, it, and it keeps coming out of the wall, uh, this is what you're going to want to do. Those little uh, plastic things that go into the drywall don't work worth a darn. Uh, there's very few of them that actually work, so find a stud, do something. Uh, if you're building a room, um, think ahead. All right, Beams go 16 to 16, center to center. You could put a beam going, uh, another 2x4 going straight across where a towel rack would go, and you can screw right into that 2x4. So uh, this wall is going to be changed out eventually. We're going to put a pocket door in this uh, bathroom. Whenever I get a job and get some good employment. All right, and uh, one thing I don't like doing is using power tools for this part. I'm going into that stud and tightening down. I'm not over tightening. I'm not going to strip out that hole or strip out the screw. I hope. <laughs> so the idea here is that's in a stud. That is not coming out. That's not. This, this guy it still moves around which I don't like. All right, but I'm hoping that, that I still see it's kind of wet. This is really going to upset me if it still pivots. But uh, time will tell. I'm going to let that sit for a while and then uh, put it, put this thing all together. We're going to give it a good couple of tugs. I'm 250 pounds, so <laughs> I don't want to give it too much of a tug. But the idea is putting a towel on there and pulling and see if that thing's going to come loose again. 
Okay, it's been uh, probably a half hour because I had other things to do. And uh, that's pretty, that's not going anywhere. I'm not going to pull it too hard because all it's going to have is a towel on it. So I'm going to put this back on because that back plate's not moving very much. That should snap right onto place and now move again. Once again, you could pop this off or pop off whatever you have and clean this up if you wish. Or just wait until you do a paint job. Alright, so <laughs> it's coming off. I'm going to have to use some contact cement or something to keep that on because that that's not going to work. And then um, the towel should go in there and then when you want to dry your hands, yep, yeah, that should work. It's not, and even if you pull that, yep. Yeah. Hey, I'll check good. So hopefully this video helped you out. Okay, and, uh, and once again, you can have any, any kind of uh, towel holder and this will help you out. Okay? Uh, subscribe and see a lot more. A lot more things coming up.